Peter Walfried has an eye for detail, a vital skill for an artist. But it was simply a stroke of luck that his glaucoma was detected early. The only thing I thought was that because I was putting the newspaper further and further away that I started to need reading glasses, so that was, that was basically it. The genetic disease causes progressive damage and degeneration of the optic nerve. It's the leading cause of blindness internationally and affects around 75 million people around the world. There is no cure, but early detection and treatment can slow eyesight loss. I think I was relieved that they found it, but also, I guess, a little bit um, disappointed that it had taken so long to discover and that there was already a bit of damage done to my eyes. Glaucoma is generally detected through a regular eye health check, but often it's too late. Now researchers from Flinders University and the Berghofer Medical Research Institute in Queensland have created a genetic test after identifying the genes that increase a person's risk of developing glaucoma. They would be able to be treated with existing treatments such as laser, eye drops and surgery um, and actually potentially not develop any visual loss at all. So in that sense, yes, I think we would expect to see a reduction in people going blind or losing vision from glaucoma. Heather Murphy participated in the ongoing research after her daughter was also diagnosed with glaucoma. Things that they find out about my condition will possibly help them in the future with good treatment. It's thought the test could be available within the next year. Claire Campbell, ABC News, Adelaide.